as we continue our meditations on Jesus' seven last words from the cross. Take a moment before we begin to get comfortable. Maybe focus on the lighthouse, the picture on the wall, or close your eyes. Breathe in and breathe out. Try to clear your mind of all that is going on in our world and all that is going on in our lives. As we begin this meditation, we remember where Jesus was, hanging on his cross, horribly dying for the world, for you. Today's meditation comes from Luke chapter 23, verse 43. Truly I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. Think of the word truly. Think that that word can mean amen. Amen. What does that word mean to you? Think of amen meaning, so be it, or it is so. What then is Jesus telling us when he says truly, it is so, it will be, amen. What will be so? Today, this very day, you will be with me in paradise. What does paradise mean to you? Is paradise only when we die, when God brings us home? to the paradise of heaven where we will be living with Jesus forever. As Jesus spoke these words first to that thief next to him on his cross. What does that paradise look like? a place of no more pain, no more suffering. As difficult as it might seem in the aftermath of our tornado, and now maybe the greater tornado of COVID-19, let's think about paradise being now. How can we have God's peace in the midst of all the pain of our very real fears of not being at work? Not being at school? Not able to be with our friends? Or in some cases, our families? the pains, the fears of the loss of income, a lost job. To know about, to have at least some of Jesus's truly amen of paradise now. Think about what gives you hope. And what gives you joy in your life? How does that hope, how does that joy come to you? Does it come from an 
unexpected phone call or text, email, or some other social media post coming from a family member or friend, someone who was thinking about you and wanted to say they're praying for you, thinking of you, just when you needed it. Think about how did that make you feel? Happy? Relieved? Did a tear come to your eye? Did you feel like laughing? Did you experience some paradise now? As we truly experience that peace, giving us a little more paradise now, how might we share Jesus's paradise to others? now. While keeping our social distancing, which is extremely hard, but really needs to be done, we might share Jesus's Amen. Let it be so now by making a phone call. Send a text, an email, instant message, or social media post to bring someone some unexpected hope. Truly giving someone or many others Jesus' gift of paradise now, today. In the midst of the very real fears of the tornado, COVID-19, and all of our fears, may God empower us, may God work through us to bring the amen of your so be it now, peace and hope to the world you so truly love, to the world so much in need of hope and peace of God's paradise right now. Amen.